Hi guys, my name is Jennifer Lococo and I am a naturopathic doctor and I am the owner of Lococo Wellness Clinic. So, today I want to talk to you guys about bioidentical hormones. I am so excited that naturopathic doctors are now able to prescribe nat bioidentical hormones because it's really going to help our patients out there who are suffering with fertility problems, who are suffering with hormonal imbalances and who are going through perimenopause, premenopause, or are in the menopausal state. So primarily, bioidentical hormones were developed for menopausal, postmenopausal females. And the reason why we prescribe hormones to women who are postmenopausal is because they have a huge dip in their hormones. So going through menopause means that we, whoop, hormones, lost they're gone okay they're in very 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 small quantities in the blood now with this huge drop in hormones it totally changes up what's happening on an intracellular level it puts us at risk for osteoporosis it puts us at risk for cardiovascular disease it increases the aging process so conventionally they came up with the idea of okay well this is a problem let's fix it let's put the hormones back in the body which was great it was a great idea but these hormones were synthetically derived so let's take a look and see and look at the difference between a molecule that's synthetically derived and a molecule that's naturally derived that fits or qualifies under our bioidentical. So if you can see here, this is what a molecule looks like for natural or human estrogen in the body. And this image is the molecule for the bioidentical estrogen. And the next molecule that we're looking at is the molecule for the synthetic estrogen, which is commonly known as Premarin. So as you can see, there's a huge difference between the synthetically derived estrogen, or Premarin as more commonly known, and the natural estrogen. Now we're going to move in and look at the progesterone molecule. So let's take a look at the human progesterone molecule. Now let's take a look at the bioidentical progesterone molecule. These molecules, if they were superimposed, they are identical, they match. Now let's take a look at the synthetically derived progesterone. This molecule, as you can see, is very different. So this is the progestin. So because the molecule is not the same, that molecule is going to have deleterious side effects. It's going to cause some damage. It's going to do something. So when these studies were performed on the synthetic hormones, they found that there was an increased risk for venous thromboembolism. They had an increased risk for stroke. They had an increased risk for cardiovascular disease. When the studies were performed on the bioidentical hormones, it was proven that bioidentical hormones were able to reduce the risks of osteoporosis, were going to be able to reduce the risks of cardiovascular disease and reduce the risks of aging process. Who wouldn't want that? Sounds great. But here's the difference, is the synthetically derived hormones, those would be prescribed and they'd be administered orally, it would be an oral medication. With the bioidenticals, we are prescribing them in a transdermal system. What that means is you get a pump and you're going to have the medication in a pump and you would press on the pump which has the suggested medication and you apply it to thin areas of the skin and rub it in and there you go. The difference between the oral and the transdermal is that orally estrogen would put a lot of stress on the liver and cause in a lot of inflammation in the body. Okay, so inflammation in the body, we're going to talk about this in later videos and I'm sure you guys have heard about it before. We don't want inflammation. Inflammation is going to lead to all types of problems down the road. So in a transdermal, in this little pump, this guy is going to be able to administer the medication and bypass the liver, which is key, so we don't have to deal with the damage to the liver. And then it's also going to be able to sustain that level for a longer time period. So if we take Are you curious to find out if you are suffering from signs of decreased estrogen and or progesterone? Watch our next video to find out more information.